The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention describes mucormycosis as a serious but rare fungal infection caused by a group of molds known as mucormycetes. These fungi live in soil and decaying organic matter. Mucor species and rhizopus species are some of the most common causes of mucormycosis, but there are also other species. Mucormycosis is frequently a life-threatening infection and is treated with prescription antifungal medicine according to the CDC. The agency also states that while most cases of mucormycosis are sporadic, outbreaks have occurred. In healthcare settings, CDC reports that it can be difficult to determine whether mucormycosis is healthcare associated or whether the infections were acquired somewhere else. People with a weakened immune system could get mucormycosis by inhaling fungal spores or if they enter the skin through an injury. Types of mucormycosis listed by CDC include rhinocerebral, pulmonary, gastrointestinal, cutaneous, and disseminated mucormycosis. To help lower the risk of mucormycosis, CDC recommends at-risk people avoid direct contact with water-damaged buildings after a natural disaster, avoiding areas with a lot of dust like at construction or excavation sites, and avoiding activities that involve close contact with soil or dust. These are just a few of the many things to know about mucormycosis and potential exposure risks to mucormycetes. To learn more about this or other infection control, air quality, industrial hygiene, environmental health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.